You're ready to start? I feel like there's just so much here. Well, there is. Normally we don't have this much on the table, but you know, things are different. Hi everybody. Welcome to the Knot House podcast. I'm Kathy. And I'm Heather. And this is, oh, I said the Knot House podcast already. Um, this is podcast number 35. 35. Mm-hmm. And today is March 20th. It is Friday. And mom and I are trying to sit far apart because I said we have to. <laughs> <laughs> like they do on the news. Last night I was trying to figure out if I should do it from home and you should be here. And I was trying to figure out how I would make that work. So that's what I was thinking about when I went to sleep. On Zoom, you can record it. Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. But I don't think you could edit it that way. Hey, desperate times, desperate measures. <laughs> we did Zoom on, on Tuesday night for Tuesday night, knit night, and I was so nervous. And you asked me why I was so nervous, and I said, because you can't edit it if I say something I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> yeah, but only your friends join in for knit night. Right. You know? Right. Not people that are going to be critics. That's true. I wonder if you can boot them out. You don't have to let them in. You don't? Oh, see? So there you go. Because I'm the host, I get to say, because a little thing comes up and says, so-and-so's in the waiting room. Let them in. Okay, let them in? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of a really neat thing. So here we are with our COVID-19 2020 situation. It's a little different than um, everybody's used to. That it is. Our shop has been closed since um, Tuesday. Yep. Even though... You've been here every day doing orders? I've been here every day doing orders. I had three curbside pickups today. Oh, you did today? I did. I didn't know that. I would have come over and gotten more pictures of you. (laughs) Three (laughs) curbs. She's not going to come over and help me pack anything up, but she'll come over and help me take pictures. Well, you know, you got to... You got to do both. You got to do both. Yeah. Um... You probably will cut this out, but Lori said it was like a drug deal. I was even standing on the corner. <laughs> Open up the window and I throw it in. So is that when is that when she dropped off the sweater? Yes. First, we want to thank everybody. I mean, you know, it's 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 very stressful to own a small business, and um, we do treat this as a business. <laughs> it, it it's you know mom's income and. Um, you know, there's no, <laughs> there's no big there's purse no, strings. There's no fluff anywhere. Yeah, there's no sure. fluff anywhere. You and know? there's not a whole lot of places to cut back. So, but I want to thank everybody for, for ordering and making an effort and telling your friends to order. You know, um, Meg from Woolen Cookies, she ordered and she got her friend to order. And it's just stuff like that, that it, it makes a difference, you know, cause it all adds up. And, um, Anyway, I just want to say thanks. And, you know, people have been great about calling in and having mom help them pick colors. And you're going to make me cry. You're not going to cry. There's, it's like, it's like Tom Hank says, there's no crying in knitting. (laughs) (laughs) There's no crying in knitting. We're very appreciative, very grateful. And we have a really strong community. And I never take that for granted. Yeah, we do. We really do. And, and you know some of the the younger um, friends of ours, you know Carolina and Kylie, they help like <laughs> they help mom with the Zoom because you know I I've gone back to work full time and I can't help as much as I want to on the on the technology part, but you know they they stepped in and they had her all ready and <laughs> we practiced. They, they practiced, you know, whatever. <laughs> and so, Carolina going to Costco today texted me and Carol yeah and said you guys need me yeah and that's that's what about it's about all about everybody's taking care of everybody and you know the designers are doing the best they can to get patterns out and the hand dyers have got plenty of yarn because the festivals have been closed or canceled and um, you know we'll, we'll get there you know I, I do believe we'll get through it um, it's just gonna be different for a while So we're just going to have to adjust and, you know, therefore we have a bunch of yarn on the table and we have a bunch of things to talk about because see all we have 
is the is the camera really right so all we have is is our camera, camera and my phone <laughs> posting <laughs> in your phone and um so so anyway thank you and um all right that's enough on that or you'll cry no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not in the crying mood today that's good yeah sometimes i can you know, I get I get more upset when I think about, you know, people getting sick. I mean, you know, both mom and my husband are, you know, fall in that category. And, um, you know, I get sad thinking about, you know, the class of 2020 doesn't get to do the things that you're supposed to do when you graduate high school. And, um, but they'll be able to remember it. And there will always be the class of 2020 that they didn't get to, you know. Lucas said, well, now, mom, it's not a good thing. It's not like you know, a celebration thing that you could just say, yeah, 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 I was in the class of 2020. And I said, no. But you can say I lived through it. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and you can, you know, tell your kids what it was like. And, you know, anyway, so I guess we will go ahead and say that the pop-up shop is canceled. Um, well, Maryland Sheep and Wool was canceled. And they did not get another date, so they just said, they would do it again in 2021. Yes. Right, Mom? That's correct. Okay. So we're trying to decide if we want to have the pop-up still um, and do that in the fall, say, in we're looking right now at September. We've got some of our vendors that that it will it will work for, some it will not. So we're gonna we're gonna see if we can make that work. Um, of course it won't be near as big of a venue. Um, you know, because Maryland Sheep and Wool won't be going on, but you know, it might be, it still might be a big event. You know, and I know a lot of people look forward to it and um, maybe if we, like I said, maybe if we plan it well enough in advance and people know about it enough ahead of time. Um, anyway, more to come on that. We're not gonna give up on that quite yet. Right? That's right. All of our marketing material has the wrong dates on it, but you know, that's no big deal. Um, so back to Lori telling you it was like a drug deal. <laughs> that's what she said. Lori's she a said, hoot. She said, you're on the corner, I'm rolling down the window <laughs> and you're throwing it in. <laughs> because she got yarn too. Not only did she drop the sweater off, she got yarn. She got yarn, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Lori's a really fast knitter. So, so let's go ahead and get this closer. This doesn't have to be far apart. Ugh. All right, so what is this, Mom? This is Sandoval by This Bird Knits. This Little Bird Knits or This uh, Bird Knits? I think it's This Bird Knits. Okay. Or is it Little Bird Knits? I don't know. You said you had it down. I thought I did. <laughs> It's one or the other. So it's Sandoval. Sandoval. So and and you know I'll link it below. Um, did you see Christina's T-shirt that somebody got her? That yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah. So there's a story behind this sweater. A little bit of a story. Uh, Lori likes red, and she's given me and Mom a hard time because we don't ever really have that many red yarns in the shop. And what we do have red is very blue red. Yeah. More almost a burgundy. Yeah. So we have everything else but a lot of reds. And I don't know if sales were down or, or what it was. I don't know. But I said. No, she just asked you. And whenever any of the customers ask, you might tell me no. But yeah. you don't ever tell them Well, no. especially our regulars. If they right. say, you know, oh, will you do this? And, you know. So she said that she wanted a red. And I said, well, what kind of red? So cardinal red. You know, we went back and forth. Anyway, this is the red that she decided on. And um, it's not tagged yet, but this is Little Red. So. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called Little Red. Okay. It's called Little Red. Um, what are you looking for? I was looking for the um, contrast color. Oh, you're looking for. Um, zebra. It's in here. There Here's. it is. So, <clears throat> this is Zebra. Now, Mom, did she only use one skein? I know we had a hard time thinking that one skein was going to be enough. Yep, she returned the other. I made her take two, but she returned it. And what size did she do? Do you know? 
I'd have to look, but probably a 44 or a 46. So medium to large. Yes. Okay. Do you know how many skeins of the red she used? Four. Four? Okay. So anyway, I think it turned out really, really pretty actually. Um, there's just enough variegation in the zebra. It was her vision. It's exactly like what she wanted. Yeah. And so is this the back? Did I turn it around or is that no, the front? No, that's the front. Yeah, that's the front. So it's been pretty popular actually. And we picked out a bunch of colors and I actually stayed up really late last night dyeing stuff because I knew we were going to do this. And I was, not only do we have Dream State to go with it, um, we have a couple of not house yarns to, to show you too, so. And we have some Julie Oslin. And we have some Julie Oslin. Oh, so show that one. This one was my pick. I just picked it, by the way. Well, you know, I have to get mom's approval because, you know, sometimes I pick them out and she's like, no, that's not enough contrast, Heather. But um, this is Dream State um, Vibra Volant. Mm -hmm. Now, if you- is, like, is this like, a, this is a newer color, um, no? They've only, in Dream State, they've had like 16 colors and they haven't added to them. Okay. They add to the dyed in the wool. Right. So and it's a peachy pink. You would need two of those because it's only 200 yards. No, 150 yards. Okay. So you would need, need two, two of them. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, Julie Oselin. We just got a new shipment of Julie Oselin. We just get... Lizu um, DK. And, and this is, Fino. yeah, and this is, um, Baritz? Baritz. Baritz. So I'll stand up and show you these guys so you can see them a little bit better. Anyway, I thought, I think that would be really, really pretty. Kind of springy, you know, a little summery. So that's one, um, Vesuce? Vesuce. Vesuce. This is a cranberry. Another Julie Oslin. And this one is Salty Dog. Popular. And that one. Popular. This is mom's pick. This one's I mom's really pick. I really like that one. Now, oh, this was another one. So this one is Blue Eyes of Steel, which is probably my um, most popular colorway. And it's DK. And this one is Rusted Rainbow. So that looks a little fallish. Yeah. But you know, it's true. Sometimes the people, let's get to fall. Let's skip over. <laughs> let's well, skip. There's a lot. April, of, May, June, and July. Well, there's a lot of, you know, I, I do a sweater in about a month, but there's a lot of people that it takes several months. So you've got to start knitting on them early or you don't have them ready when it's time to wear them. Right. So let me see, while I'm standing here, you can't see me because my head is out of the picture. Maybe I should just stand like this all the time. This is, um, this is Mont Blanc. It's a new navy and. A, a truer navy. It's yeah, not it's not purple. purple. It's not as purple as my um, other one. This is Mississippi Marsala. So this one would be just not as much contrast. I think it would still be really pretty. I think this peach here would show up really nice with the navy. Kind of like what, um, Andrea Mallory did in her throw over. Mm -hmm. There's some peach in there with her really, really mm -hmm. dark black. Um, maybe that's one of the colors she used, I don't know. Um, okay, so that's that one. Oh, and then um, this one. Oh yeah, that would go too, wouldn't it? I thought we put that one with it. I don't know. Not this one, this one is um, Secrets. And then this is Wild Thing. That would be very pretty together. Yeah, it would be very striking because it's reversed, right? You're, you're gonna be really light and then this this part's gonna be really dark. Um, but there's, there's, you know, black and brown, some gray and taupe. Um, I use some of the, the it's the, actually the same dye um, for the brown in this as um, it is for secrets. So that's part of the reason why I know it would look good together. So that's another one. And, and then show this one too with the salty dog. Oh, 
So this is Mont Blanc again with Salty Dog. And then this is Spruce It Up. I don't have it skeined up yet because I was trying to get out, out here, over here. And this one, I haven't told you the name, but this one's going to be, um, and you don't have this one photographed. I don't. Or Spruce It Up. You do have Spruce Oh, but not in DK. Not in DK. Well, they're, they're calling you anyway. They'll call you and tell you what they want. Um, anyway, so this is, this is new. This is April, uh, showers. I tell you why I did it. Um, I was looking at, there's got little bitty flecks of gold, little bitty specks of, of yellow in it. I hope you guys can see that. Can you see it? And I was thinking about the pollen, you know how, Yeah. <laughs> you know, the April pollen in rains. April. Yeah, and so anyway, so I was thinking about spring, so I thought, all right, April showers. It sounds a little bit better than pollen. <laughs> well, it's not quite as yellow as yeah. what pollen would be. And this, spruce it up, um, is a really, really deep, deep forest green, like a spruce green. Um, but I think those two would look really pretty together too. Very striking. I think that's all I had picked out for that. Um, you've been doing some throwbacks. Throwovers. I mean, throwovers. I have. We have, um... Throwover is Andrea Mallory's new sweater, in case you didn't know. We have all the colors of Dream State except for Family Jewels. I sold the last of it. The last Family Jewels? Yes. But we have all the other colors. Um, and then we posted some some ideas on Instagram we did of some of the of my worsted so if there's anything that you want special I will also I, I did it for um spruce it up that's why I dyed the DK is um somebody had asked it for it and worsted because they're doing it right mm -hmm. um so I dyed that up special for them and um that package is going out so um, I'm happy to do that. So it just let us know. Today, it went to Kentucky. Oh, was that that was the Kentucky box? Yep, it was. So I'm happy to do that. I have some. Um, I have a, a new base that I'm going to come out with, and I don't know. Depending on how long we are um, closed to the public, I was thinking that when we open back up, I would we would do that as a kind of like a celebration, that but, is. but at the same time, I hate to have it just sitting in my dining room, all pretty, um, just sitting there too. So we'll see how that goes. It's a fingering weight. It dies. It, it takes the yarn really, really pretty. And there's some pretty things. I've worked in it now yeah. and I really like it. Yeah. I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. It's a really tight twist. And it's really boingy. I know. I like the boinginess. I know you do. That's why we're different. That's why it makes us good. Okay. So that is Sandoval. And she was so happy with it because it was her vision. Yeah. And, and it came out how she wanted it to come yeah. out. Yeah. It's, so it's I, really pretty. I always like that if I have a vision of colors and what I think it's going to look like and... Sometimes it does and mm -hmm. sometimes it doesn't. But when it does, it's always so good. Well, and you know, it just goes to show that you don't have to use Dream State. You can use another um, variegated DK and that way you don't have to spend as much money. I mean, you're already spending a lot on, you know. Yeah. So that's five skeins versus what? Three skeins, no, four skeins. And then plus two, two, spins, two um, Dream State, so. So anyway, but we have another the, option. But we have the dream state. Yeah, we have the dream state too. So, so that's that. Um, and then, as far as another finished object, this is speaking of spring. This is the storm shawl by um, Hohi Locatelli, and I started this. I don't know. Well, you guys know when I started it. I was working on it for the past two podcasts, I think. But I finally finished it, and it's got um, these these drop stitches, which I took me a minute took me a minute to get used to and figure it out. But um, Carissa 
showed me what I was doing and yeah, and it, it was actually really quick. And what I liked about it was you did, um, you did the sections and I don't know, it, it's just one skein. Yeah. It's one skein and it just wasn't that big a deal, especially for the way I knit. Cause I usually knit for two hours at night, maybe a couple of times a week. <laughs> So, um, and then it's got this little pretty pico edge at the bottom. And it's bigger than most one skein shawls are. Yeah, because it's... Because of the drop stitches. Yeah, and it's not real deep. No, it's more crescent. Yeah, it's more crescent. So, but not that it really goes with my green, but... Yeah. So... Yeah. So I know everybody's got a lot of one skein um, things. In their stash. In their stash. And skein, that's a cashmere nylon merino blend, right? That's correct. Um, and yeah, that's that would be a, I hadn't thought about that, but skein, that would be very good for, for that one skein. Mm -hmm. um, and skein comes from Australia. So this is this one in particular is April Skies. Mom says this is also great for socks because it's soft because of the cashmere, but it also has the nylon in it. Right. And we got, I still have some 52 weeks of socks. I know I got another one of these, some more of these. We have so much in the pile. There's one. So this one is um, April Skies, right? Like I said getting up again it's april skies it's a grayish brown with a little bit of um blue in it and then this one is a pretty green with some light colors in it um lighter blue a little bit of dark black and this one is national park did i say the name of this one this one's ness n-e-s-s -S. And this one is National Park. It's a really pretty one. It's teal and pink. I know a lot of people like teal and pink together. But all of those are on the website. Um, there's, I don't know, 30 colors up there. Pinks and some brighter ones and some neutrals. I think this would make a pretty pair of man socks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that. Mom's wearing her cowl. Yes. I yep. And we have those kits on the website too. Yep. And some people are picking out different colors, you they know? Are. And again, you can you can pick out skein and put a mohair with it. Um you can I didn't even think about that, Mom. We could have picked out those options. We could do this all day. <laughs> it's what I do do all day. Yeah. Um, because I'm looking up at the skein board and I see two pretty ones right now that, you know, you could put with a um a pretty mohair so um we got hypothesis in yes it was so strange the i talked to the ups driver and asked him about a lost box right so we had a we were supposed to get it the first of well she shipped it the fourth of february yeah we should have gotten it and he comes in the other day with this carrying this box very fragilely, you know? And I said, what you is- You gotta turn a little bit, Mom, because you're not talking to the camera. I said, what is that? And he said, oh, I don't know, but it's from Canada. And so the tape was taped. I'm getting away. I'm just getting this way. The box, <laughs> the box was so falling apart that they had taped it and then they had taped it and then they had taped it. Um, but the yarn was fine in it. So, Hypothesis is from Canada. It is. And I think we've closed the borders now. To keep the corona out or in. <laughs> Whichever way you want to look at it. Oh, okay, that's right. You put, um, oh, you were talking about the, the, um. Sorrel sweater. Sorrel sweater. Yeah. You want to hold this up? Yeah. All right, so this one. But this is DK, Mom. 
That's not it. That's mine. There's a green. There it is. Okay. So. And that's just one of right. those. I so this is Hypothesis Smooth Sock. And I think it's her bestseller. It is 75% merino, 25% nylon. I'm, my head's cut. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so this is Smooth Sock. And I'm looking for the colorway. The color is Royal, which is a pale, 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 pale green. And then this is Thaw, which is a variegated green with specks of yellow and blue. And then there's some green green in there as well. And then we have uh, Ovid. Hope I'm pronouncing these right. Which is a darker green with speckles in it and some reds. And then we have Darjeeling, which is a darker green. So, Mom and I were talking about how it would make a pretty, if you're doing a faded sorrel, sorrel sweater. And then this is, um, this is my Mo Debonair, and this is also um, spruce, it, spruce up. it up. So it's really green with a black overlay on it, and um, it's really pretty. So it's gonna, you know, blend all these, make them all go together, of course. And um, I did an orange fade the other day, and I did. For a, for a sorrel? Um, she was going to use it for something else, not for a sorrel, but four colors. Now this one, I would do this one and it's solid with the green. That to me, can you guys see that is gorgeous. This is my favorite color of the whole palette and this is called Plume. It is purple, gray, black, green. What's not to like? Black and green and purple. Mom. So anyway, again. It's not my favorite, but. That one's plum, plume. Which one's your favorite? That, um, Sophia, Nudie Branch? Yep, Sophia Ann. Nudie Branch. Got to do the. So I see those in there, really pretty. Got to do the shawl in. This one is Drenodi. But all of those pictures are up. Too. Yeah, and it's got these really pretty pinks in there like that. So all of those are up. And we have another yarn coming that we're excited about. Miss Lamont is coming. It might be here. She shipped on Monday. So you have to watch us on Instagram. On Instagram, we're um, not house yarns because we'll post it there when we get it. And it is her merino linen blend. Yeah. We're excited about that because we haven't had, it's a new blend. Um, that's 90 out. merino and 10. So just a little bit of linen. Yeah. Um, we've got one more thing to show and that is this is a cowl that um carissa did for me and we use this is tiff hand hand knits um it's a drift is the name of the the pattern it's got a herringbone edge on it both edges yeah both edges um and i think it was just two skeins it was one dk and then one sock. And what we used here was Secret, along with um, a sock yarn, what's the name of Magic Carpet is what we used. And they, they really um, paired up nicely. So it's just a- um, Slip stitch. Slip stitch and- Herringbone. Yeah. But it's a good little accessory piece because it's not real heavy. Mm -hmm. Kind of like mom's cowl. So, so that's two skeins. Again, I know you guys have a bunch of stash. Um, do you see Carolina's? I Holy did. cow, I can't believe she put that out there. <laughs> She's not afraid. 
Um, what else? Oh, we had, we had a winner. Cynthia Smith. Yep, that was for our 4,000 subscriber, right? Yes. Yes. And I got a note. She got it and liked it. So that's always good. Yep. So that, I guess we'll do another one. I guess we'll do another one when we hit 5,000. Which hopefully won't be too long. Maybe. Um, why don't you talk about the Christie's Retreat, Christy Glass? She is having a retreat November 12th through the 15th up in the Catskills. Um, it looks like it's going to be fabulous. I know. And she, there's still some spots left. I thought it would sell out just, you know, immediately. But I guess in the... And she said that she hated... This isn't the time she would want to have to put it out there. Right. She, You can tell she's been planning it for a while. Right. Because right, the plans are just fabulous. Yeah. But so she went ahead, though, and did release it and opened it up. And it's knit and... Knit and... Um, relax. Relax. Oh, hang on. Let me see. I wrote it down. Knitandrelax.com. No. Knit and escape. And escape. Knitandescape.com. That's right. Um, did you already say it was November 12th and 12th through, through the, the 15th? 15th? I did. Okay. I did. So you should go look at the rooms, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. All the rooms are different. Yeah, they're all fancy. Fancy. Kind of themed. Would be fun. Mm -hmm. Kind of like something you'd see in the Alice in Wonderland. Kind of. You know, movie or something. It's kind of what a, several yeah. of them look like. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, Caitlin Hunter is doing 35% off of all of her patterns yes. through the end of the month. So if there's any patterns, you know, you want to get any, of the, yeah, I know if there's so many of, of us have so many of our patterns. So if there's if anything there's any you're missing. Yeah. Can I see your phone for a second and pull up? Is it on the filing cabinet? Oh, I see it. It's because we don't have things exactly like they normally are. Mom's so popular. You open up her phone, she's got a bazillion text messages. Everybody loves mom. Um, see, I know what your password is. Now I'm getting my germs on your phone. We have to sanitize it. If I get sick, yeah, mom gets pneumonia, so I have to be careful with mom. Other than that, she's pretty tough. <laughs> <laughs> Even with me. I haven't said this, but this is my Millie I'm wearing. One of my Millies that one of our fans knitted that I won't disclose who it was, but... One of your fans. Oh, was it... Do I have a... No, I, I don't so. think I have any fans. I think you do. I think you do. <laughs> no, anyway. Anyway, I really like this color. It's really pretty. And this one we didn't hold mohair with. This is just plain sock. Right. Yeah. And this one is... Um, teal My Heart. Teal My Heart. My brain just doesn't... It takes me a minute. It's that whole being 50 thing. Oh, is that what you're using as an excuse? Can I use that as an excuse? I don't know. I don't think I've ever got to use that as an excuse. You've never... Well, you haven't had the problem. If you don't have the problem, you don't have, need the excuse. <laughs> okay, so it's Yoko... Shmizu. Let me see the. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, mom knows. Well, it's color work. Oh, Where's yeah, it's gorgeous color work. You guys see this? Yoko Mizu. So that is. Um, the name of the pattern is Ember. And why was I going to bring it up? Because it's short sleeved? Maybe. Well, Good there's job. three different ways to do it. You can do it full length, three quarter length, or short sleeves. It's done in fingering. Mm -hmm. It's done in fingering. Why didn't you tell me you wanted me to do that one? I just found it last night. Well, you knew about it. Well, I know. It's got lace. I didn't think you'd like it. It's even got little bitty tiny bobbles in the ribbing across the bottom. And she's coming out with a new one that's even better. I found it on um, Instagram last night too. She hasn't released it yet, bottles. though. 
Well, there's some kind of little French knots or something. Maybe. I don't know, but I might want you to do them when she comes out with next though. Besides that, you're supposed to be designing. I thought you were working on something. I am, I'm working on a sweater, but I, I, I gotta be honest, I haven't been able to concentrate to knit very much. And I have all this time. But you're busy. I have been busy. I have you know, busy. you make two or three trips to the post office a day. It's Ember, E-M-B-E-R by Yoko, S-H-I-M-I-Z-U. So if you don't know who she is, look her up. What about what you're working on? Oh, this is, um, this is from Vogue. This is, I'm embarrassed that this is as far as I've gotten, but I did finish, I did finish that. This is Casapinka's, um, speckled sweater, or it's going to be. And it's, it's done, um, it's reverse stockinette. But you do it you do it inside out so that you aren't killing yourself with all of the purling. And I'm using my kaleidoscope colorway for it. And that's DK. And it's DK, yeah. And um Yeah, I just gotta keep going. Anyway. Um so yeah, so that's that. It's a kaleidoscope. No mohair, no nothing, just DK. So anyway, and then mom's got a sweater that she's going to be showing. She's not supposed to show it yet because it's, it's not released. It's April 4th. Yep. So she's got, um, and she, it is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I cannot say enough about how pretty it is. And you're going to do another t test knit, right? So this is why she can't get any designs done. Yeah. There's another test knit I'm going to get to do next week. Yeah. So lots of good stuff. Um, again, I, I just want to thank you all for your support. Know that, um, you know, we're doing the best we can and we're going to do the best we can to stay open and have the storefront. And um, I will say I'm not giving up doing all the packages. I know I, it just feels a little different with the store closed and just doing all the packages. So I've, I've enjoyed making them all surprising. Yeah. I mean, surprises in them. So, but I'm here most all day and- Now it, you're gonna still answer the phone on Mondays too, even though we're closed, right? I well, mean, what's I always, the difference? I always have. Yeah. So yeah, I'll do orders on Monday too. Okay. So you can call me. I, I somebody, I wanted help picking colors and I said, are you on your cell phone? Let's FaceTime. She said, I just got out of the shower. And I said, <laughs> put a robe on. <laughs> <laughs> I won't look. <laughs> um, and we found her some colors that way. Yeah. So I'll be glad to do any of that for you. Um, oh, I just had something else I was going to say. And we've got say. free shipping. Yeah, we're doing free shipping. Free shipping. Free. Right now it's till the end of the month. And then we'll see how And then goes. we'll see from there. And that, I mean, you're even doing needles and stuff too, right? Yes. The needles are not on the website, but if you call me, I will be glad to send you needles along with it. What do you have? What kind of needles? We've got Chai Gu Lace. We have Haya Haya Sharps. We have Haya Haya Regulars. And we have Knitter's Pride Dreams. All fixed. I don't have any interchangeables. Oh, um, Knit... Knit night. We may do one. I'm going to try to get this up tomorrow. Today's Friday. I'm going to try to have this up on Saturday. So if you're watching and you want to join us for a live knit night on Zoom, um, I don't have the Zoom number but handy. We'll post it again. But I'll, yeah, watch us on Instagram and on our stories and um, we'll put the number there. You're welcome to join in. You don't have to be part of our local knit group. Um, anybody can join. The other night we had Tristan join from Dragon Horde. Julie Oselin joined. I had already jumped off when Julie and came on. Julie from Button Jar. And Julie from Button Jar Studios. Yeah. Um, we, cause you said we could have up to 100 people. We can have up to 100 people. So if you don't get in, you just have to, you know, 
call in or, or wait till somebody drops off or whatever, but you have to download the Zoom app. Download the Zoom app and then it says join a meeting and you punch the number in Yeah. and you'll post that again. Yeah, I'll post that again. And post it on the... In the... Right, I'll post it in the details. And so guys, you gotta, you gotta hit the down button on your screen to get all of the details from right. the podcast. And people always seem like they can't find them. And I know it's because it's weird. If you're on your phone watching it or your computer, it looks a little different. Um, speaking of which, if you have an iPad or your computer, the Zoom is better because then you can actually knit and you don't have to hold your phone. Well, that and you can see everybody And you can better. see everybody, yeah. But, some, you know, whatever works. Um, We're going to be doing that on Tuesday nights as well. Sunday from 12 to 2 and Tuesday night from 5. We did it until 8 last time, but that really is a long time. Yeah. So probably 5 to 7. Yeah. So, so yeah, so we're here. And, you know, if you want to just call and chit chat with mom, you can do that too. Keep me company. We've got a lot of people doing that. So, so everybody stay safe. And um, hopefully all of this um, social distance will pay off and do what it's supposed to do. So that, you know, come May, April, whenever it is, whenever the magic time is. We will be somewhat back to normal, although I think we'll all be, um, I think we'll all be better for it. Yeah. I think we will appreciate each other a whole lot more. Yeah. And again, everybody's been great about supporting each other, the dyers, you know, pumping up other dyers and you know, there's so many knit alongs going on, trying to help people, um, you know, just stay busy and feel like that there's still a sense of community. Anyway. Stay safe, um, wash your hands, and... If you need anything, just call yep. me. Yep. That's true. All right. Bye, you guys. Thank Thanks you. for watching, and thank you again for all your support. We'll see you soon. We appreciate it. Bye. Bye.